Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Country Cast. It has been just over a week now since we learned the horrifying news that country star Hardy and three of his team members were involved in a very serious bus accident, leaving all involved with significant injuries. Throughout Hardy and his team's recovery, prayers were answered as he and the members of his camp that were involved appear to be making great progress in their recovery as of Hardy's last update onto his social media a few days ago. And now new details have emerged surrounding the accident as Hardy's videographer Tanner shared a recent Instagram post after his release from the hospital where he described the horrific events of the crash and shared multiple photos of the wreckage. Before we get to the photos, here is Tanner's post. It reads, It seems like this happened so fast, but I feel the need to talk about it officially. Last week, we had one of the most terrifying accidents happen to us. For those who don't know, around 2.30 a.m. last Sunday, our bus ran off the highway at around 70 miles per hour, flipping us into the woods. There were four of us aboard. Our driver, Ricky, our tour manager, Noah, who was asleep in his bunk, and me and Hardy, who were up in the front lounge. Within what felt like three seconds, our bodies were thrown across the room, knocking us all unconscious. By the grace of God, we all survived. My injuries included a shattered foot, a punctured lung, four broken ribs, and a fractured vertebrae in my neck. And yes, it's been fucking terrible. Although I sit here in pain, wrapped up in casts, and hardly able to move for the next few weeks, months, I need to point out something important. I was told numerous times by doctors that it was a miracle that we survived. And that'll make you think. I think about the times that I've spent worrying, stressed, upset, been less present, or simply took for granted, and it kills me. I think about all the people in my life, family, friends, co-workers, etc., and wish that I could have spent more time with them or somehow made them feel better in moments with something as simple and little as a compliment. Most of all, I think about perspective and that it's so easy for us to lose sight of all the things we have. Take it from me. Be grateful for fucking everything. Even if it means just being healthy or being able to wake up for another day to spend doing the things you love. As scary and life-threatening as this accident was, I'm glad I now have a better outlook moving forward and it's only going uphill from here. I know this accident could have been a lot worse, and for that, I'm so grateful. I'm also incredibly thankful for every message, prayer, and every person who helped me over the past week. It meant the world. I'll be laid up in bed and in a wheelchair for a while, and that's okay. So if anyone wants to drop off lunch or something, I will definitely not stop you. Lastly, in regards to this post, someone please tell Sarah Hardy that I'm sorry for swearing. And here are the photos shared by Tanner. As you can see, the bus is flipped over on the side of the road. Next photo here shows crews working the scene and getting their bus back upright as well. Uh, as you can see, the destruction inside of the bus. Wow. We are so happy and thankful that Hardy and his crew are making a recovery from this. And we are continuing to send our love and prayers to them as they improve throughout this time. Hardy, Noah, Tanner, and Ricky, we love you guys, and we want you to know that we are behind y'all every step of the way. Everybody, thank you for tuning in to CountryCast. That will be all for today's video.